Hey, welcome back to BitSquid. In this video, I want to show you a quick tutorial on how to make videos to upload to YouTube as tutorials for students to continue their um, distance learning or online learning. Uh, a colleague's asked me, so I'm going to go through this tutorial using my iPad. Now, you can use any iPad. An iPad mini will do, an iPad, um, an old iPad Air or whatever. Any iPad will work here. Uh, I'm just going to be using uh, an iPad Pro. So let me just show you how this tutorial is done. So I'm going to go on to camera B and I'm show you a top-down view. First thing first, what you want to do is you want to start, uh, choose a note-taking app. So here, um, I could use I could use Notability or GoodNotes. I'm just going to stick with the, the general iPad Note app uh, just to make life easy here. Uh, Notability and GoodNotes are both paid apps. So I'll just use uh, Notes here to um, create a, a quick short lesson tutorial, okay? So from your iPad, if you pull down from the top right-hand corner, this is the control center. If you don't have this icon here, what you can do is go into Settings, Okay, go into Control Center uh, and customize your Control Center. I've already, already got mine here. If I didn't have this, you'd find it under the Control Center customization menu. So I'm going to add here screen recording. Now that I've got my screen recording here, if I pull down from the top right hand corner, this is my screen recording. Okay, now when we are doing screen recording, make sure you get a set of headphones. Okay, headphones or, or a mic or whatever. Uh, I'm using a lavalier to record this audio. Um, and I'll usually use this to record on the iPad. However, I'm just going to use a set of um, earphones. So I'm going to plug in the earphones. And of course, I'm going to put these on. The reason I'm using these earphones is because they've got a mic in them, because I want to pick up good audio for the tutorial. So I would plug these in. I'm not going to do that now because I'm just making this video. So before we start anything, I'm going to pull down from the top right hand corner and I'm going to start recording. Now, just hold this down. You can see whether you want the mic on or mic off. If you have the mic off, it's not going to record the audio uh, and then the tutorial is useless for your students. So make sure that you've clicked mic on so it's recording audio with your video. So as it's capturing the screen, as it's recording the screen, it's also going to be recording your audio. So make sure you've got your headphones on. Okay, so here we go. My headphone level is good. Okay, uh, and I'm happy to start recording this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the Notes app. Okay to start my tutorial. So here we go, create a new note here. Let's give it a title. This can be unit one fractions. Let's just call it lesson one. Here we go. Remember, this is a tutorial that I'm recording for the students. So I'm gonna give an example here. Sally ate one slice of pizza. What fraction? And then Mark had three slices of pizza. And we can show the students since the denominators are the same, we'll just add these, okay? So one plus three is equal to 12 we get four over 12. And then we can go on to simplify and do whatever we need to do. Now remember, all of this time, we've been recording this tutorial. So I'm just gonna stop this tutorial now. Okay, maybe I'm gonna uh, do a line here and write a few questions. So I'm happy with this now, I've recorded it. I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna stop the recording. So that's me done with the, the recording. I can't just send that out in its raw format because students are gonna see the, um, you know, all of the errors and mistakes that I perhaps I've made in recording the edit. Uh, they might see the keyboard, the things that they may not want to see that you want to, you know, share with them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a video editing app just to clean up um, that tutorial. Okay, now you can use iMovies. iMovies is free on an iPad. What I'm going to be using here is LumaFusion. Okay, I'm going to be using LumaFusion um, to edit this video. Now, where does the video save? It goes under your photos. That screencast is here. It gets saved under your photos app. Okay, so I'm just going to come out of there. I'm going to go to LumaFusion and I'm going to start a new project here. Okay, we'll start a new project. So I'm going to go add a new one. I'll just call it adding fractions. Where is that lesson tutorial? It should be under your videos because you recorded a screencast. It's this one here. That's the screen recording that I done. I'm going to take this and add it to my timeline. Now this file has both video and audio because remember I recorded it with audio. Yeah. Now I don't want students to see this part. So I'm going to scrub through until about here where it says lesson one. Okay. I'm going to cut that, select the first part and delete it. Okay, so from the beginning now, look, you can see lesson one. Now, I don't want the students to see the keyboard and I don't want them to see this unit one fraction business as well, yeah? So what I can do here is I'm gonna just double click this. I'm gonna edit the frame and fit for this particular file, okay? You see, I'm just increasing the size here. So I want the students just to see uh, maybe a bit more. There we go. That's what I want the students to see. So unit one fractions, uh, lesson one. And look, if I play this through now, Students see unit one, lesson one, example, Sally ate pizza, 
look at that. That's brilliant, isn't it? That's all they see now because I've zoom, zoomed into it. Now, I made an error here. I wrote Sally in red. I want to cut that. And this is what I want now. Look, I want to cut this so I can cut this part out. I don't want that. Uh, and I think really it, it's too zoomed in now. So I'm going to go back to double tap, go back into it and change the size. So the frame and fit is what you want to start selecting. So maybe I want to just bring this up. Okay, like that. Or maybe I want to just zoom out a little bit. Look, bring more of it in frame. Like that. You see? So you can always change the frame and fit. So here we go. That's really nice. Look at this. Okay, I'm very happy with that. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go to this icon here and I'm going to create a movie out of this. Remember, I've edited it to exactly what I want and now I'm going to create, I'm going to save it into my Photos app, um, leave the settings as they are and I'm just going to export this. So now, this 2 minute and 30 seconds tutorial for my students is uh, exporting. Okay, now since the render is finished and we've exported the file, we'll find it under the Photos app. Okay, it will be this one here. Look, this is the, if I play this now, this is the actual lesson that I want to share with my students. Now, how do I share that lesson? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload it to YouTube and it's very easy for you to make a free YouTube account. If you're going to upload it to, you know, your Drive or, or Google Drive or, uh, you know, your OneNotes Drive or some other drive, uh, it may be difficult for students to download it and then so it's e the easiest option that I find is just uploading it to YouTube. So go to your YouTube or create a YouTube account and then come to this video, upload video file, select your video that you want to upload. Okay, press next, give it a title, denominators, there you go. Uh, and your privacy, you can either have it unlisted and then you can share the link with your students or you can ha just have it um, as public. Okay, so unlisted, private or public is entirely up to you how you want to do it. Uh, for now, I'm just going to leave it unlisted and then just upload it. Press the upload button here and upload it to YouTube. Once this is uploaded to YouTube, you need to share out that link to your students. Okay, so that video has been uploaded now and all I want to do is click on the three dots and share it. Uh, and from here, I can copy link. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my Google Classroom. Okay, and I'm going to share it with the student. Let's go to one of uh, the classes. Okay, let's just go to grade six. Um, and under the stream, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to share something. So go to attachment, put the link over here, and then send this out to students. Now, you can send it out or you can schedule it to students. So let's just schedule it uh, and we'll schedule it for the 4th of April at 9.15. You can change the date here if you want at 9.15 a.m and then just schedule that task. So now students will have a video that they can watch. Okay, the link to the video will send them to your YouTube video here that you've just uploaded. So thanks for watching, and if you haven't, then consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one.